up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Florida's black witchery inferno of sacred destruction on Hell's Headbangers. My personal favorite black witchery release. I do not own this on wax and I definitely should. As much as I love upheaval of satanic might, I really, really love fucking... Inferno of Sacred Destruction. It's just so fucking sick. Everything about it, the art especially, is just top notch. Kiss the goat, motherfucker. Look at fucking Satan, man. He's got the head of Christ and shit. He's all fucking stoked. But you gotta love Black Witchery's just complete fucking savage approach, approach to an already savage subgenre of black metal that is bestial black death slash war metal. And speaking of which, we're gonna be talking about Richmond, Virginia's Antichrist Siege Machine and their new EP. Filth of the World on Steiglin Black Hand. I always butcher that name, but oh shit. Four tracks from Richmond, Virginia's most primitive, gnarly, bestial black death band. Holy shit. Scott from Left Cross handles drumming and vocal duties, and they act as a two piece and are one of the most gnarly live bands when it comes to just Black Death in general. Like, so fucking tight, and as soon as you see them with that straight up, like, kind of Native American-esque war paint, it's not corpse paint, this is fucking war paint. You know it's on, and the full length here Schism Preparation was also recorded, mixed, and mastered by Bob Quirk, who handled Filth of the World. And oh my goodness, does it sound awesome. Like, the drum mix alone is worth, you know, getting a copy of this, if you still can. It might be sold out, but I forget off the top of my head, so I'll put a link in the video description. But you have some nice warhead art. Like, imagine holding that fucking weapon. <laughs> like, holy shit. Especially if you're like a deathmatch wrestler or something. But you got a nice little pro tape. Program repeats on both sides. A very... Very awesome little nugget of hate-filled fucking war when it comes to the sonic savagery that is filth of the world. But, like, just the, the way Scott drums, it's like pummeling on the corpse of Christ. It's so fucking just... Primitive, for lack of a better word. It's so sick sounding. Like, he hits his drums so fucking hard. And it just builds up to these awesome fucking dive bomb solos, riffs. It, it's the whole entire package. It's everything you can want from the genre. But Americanized. Throw a little bit of D-beat in. And holy shit. Filth of the World is a great example of American black death metal at the moment. You know, a lot of people will pretty much stick to the Ross Bay, like, bands and whatnot. And that's all gravy because that shit fucking rules and it has this, like, kind of timeless sound to it where... ASM definitely have that timeless sound, but at the same time, 
you know this is like a new release based on the production and stuff. It's a lot more audible than a lot of the other bands in the genre. Because I feel like a lot of the other bands that play a similar style of like black death metal, they go for that more like demo-esque sound, even if it's a full length. But it's sick because like it's more primitive that way, but that's what makes ASM stand out from the bunch. It's primitive, it's savage, but at the same time, it never feels like it's going off the rails. It never sounds like it's just overly like heavy in the drum area and you can't hear the guitar or the vocals. The mix here is amazing and you get four tracks and they just fly by and next thing you know, you flip the tape four times and your hair probably grew six fucking inches. It's awesome. And with tracks like Melted Icons of Christ, Storm Chariot, Purifying Blade, and Hanged by the Bell Rope. You know what you're getting into just by looking at the cover art here and the title, Filth of the world like fucking a and antichrist siege machine i really feel they're one of those bands that you know whenever the world decides to get back to normal if you can see them live do it same goes for Left Cross, because Scott drums in Left Cross and just has one of the meanest D-beats in the game. Like, I don't care. He just... I Again, Scott's playing is very primitive, yet calculated. And that's another thing I feel that makes ASM stand out from the bunch. It's not just a bunch of jumbled blast beats and fills. There's actually, like, kind of a heart and soul behind it, as weird as that sounds to, you know, say about something as gnarly as Antichrist Siege Machine, but holy shit, this is fucking awesome stuff. Highly, highly recommended if you're a fan of the genre, or especially if you're new to the genre. Maybe you heard Blasphemies, Fallen Angel of Doom, and you, you want to find out more bands that sound like that. This is a great way to dive down that rabbit hole. Like, you can go to Conqueror, War Cult Supremacy, but then I would suggest going and checking out, like, Profane Order and Slave Morality from last year because it's so fucking gnarly sounding. And the same goes for Antichrist Siege Machine and their debut full length. Schism Perpuration. This record right here is so fucking gnarly sounding. And it has a lot to do with the mix. The mix on this is so dialed in, like, I fucking love it. And at times, Scott's drumming, it sounds like, you know, Conqueror, but then it becomes back, like, full circle into ASM if you you know, have been following them since their early demo, and Morbid Triumph, I think, is the name of the EP. I don't remember off the top of my head, but pretty much the first time I ever saw Antichrist Siege Machine, Austin from Outer Heaven was like, yo, Chanel, get to this show early because you're gonna love the first band, and the show was actually Outer Heaven... ASM, well, ASM, Outer Heaven, and Left Cross headlined in this little dive bar, and it was my first time seeing both ASM and Left Cross and meeting Scott and everybody, and I was just, like, completely blown away by what this two-piece managed to bring to the table. It was some of the most gnarly fucking black death metal I've ever heard. And in a live setting, it was just like, whoa. And then 
when I saw them play in Baltimore right before the world shit the bed with Triumvir Foul and Human Agony, they fucking stole that show. Like, hands down. Me and my buddy Aaron, we were talking about it. We were like, yo, how good was ASM? Like, don't get me wrong, Triumvir Foul killed it. And so did Human Agony, but... ASM, like, as soon as they came out with that fucking war paint on, it was just like, alright, come on, Christ, like, put up your dukes, it's time for some fucking Antichrist Siege Machine, Filth of the World, four tracks on Steglin Black Hand, awesome, awesome stuff, highly, highly recommended, if you're a fan of Bestial Black Death Metal, or if you're new to the genre, get into this. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of, like, a Christmas album. Just, just, just the, the, the color scheme, that's all. Like, from far away. Like, that could be, like, you know, like a Christmas tree or something. But no, it's a fucking weapon. And it's awesome. And Antichrist Siege Machine definitely fucking kill it with... Filth of the World, four tracks of Total Sonic Poison. And we were blasting Florida's Black Death Legends, Black Witchery, Inferno of Sacred Destruction, on Hell's Headbangers. I need to get this on wax because this is my favorite Black Witchery record. But when it comes to Black Witchery material, I also highly suggest checking out their side of their split with Revenge. That's also some of their best material. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. <laughs>